Hello everyone, welcome to the last video in this series and right now we're gonna uh, take care of the last thing which is styling our application so we're just gonna continue with the application that we have been building for the past two three videos and right now it just looks like this and you ask it a question what uh, uh, why the why the sky is blue right something like that and then you click on generate and then it's gonna give you an answer so we're just gonna style it uh, we're gonna give it some styling using Tailwind that CSS. Uh, the sky is blue because when sunlight, and then it gives you the explanation, right? So we already connected the back end to the front end, and now we get our answer. So we're just gonna style it using Tailwind that CSS. When we install our application, uh, where when we uh, issue the command create next app and then you know install everything, we got our Tailwind that config that JS, and this is the file that comes with the um, you know everything that we need and we need an entry point for all of these files so we have a globals.css and this is the this is the default one that comes with the next.js that gives you like uh, you know the page that we got in the beginning of the tutorials so we might have to change this a little bit but let's see how how it is so let's go to our application so we have to change it so let's just put Let's just do something simple. We'll just put like the prompt here in the middle and then um, just give it a, like a like a different color or something like that. So what I'm going to be using is Tailwind CSS, Tailwind CSS. And here you can just look for um, if you want to know how like what styles, uh, you know, they have and stuff like that. So text, right? So we'll just tap type text and then this is going to give us, like, you know, everything that you can add this is like text underline right but like if you want to change the text color then you'll come here and here you can see text black text white you just have to add these to the to the html elements and then that's gonna make it be that color so let's go to index.tsx and the first thing that we want to do is we want to since this is our entry point to our application because this is the index file and we don't have an app.tsx file all right, since index.tsx is our entry point, we, we need to import here the style, right? The global.css, which is this file here. And this one has like the default file um, styling once again. So let's just import this and, and see what we get. And then we'll say globals.css. All right, so now that we have our styling sheet, let's just go back to the local host. And all right, so the, there is a problem here. Oh, so we have we're missing that one. So yeah, just make sure that the path is correct. All right, so now you can see that everything changed to to a background uh, black background, and when we type, we don't see anything, even though like the text is here. So let's just get rid of this one because we don't want any of that. So and that's because all the colors are here, right? But we don't that we don't want that. So let me just uh, get rid of this and let's just leave it like that. Since we're not gonna change the background or anything like that, it should be fine like that. All right. So now we have this once again. Uh, the button doesn't have like a color or anything like that, since we got rid of everything. But what we wanna do is add the following to the index.tsx file. All right. Basically, I already already have some styling here, but I'm gonna explain uh, some of it to you as well. So let's just go to the main div, which is this one here. And we'll just, all right, so let me just do it from here. So I'll just do this one and then the rest I'll just copy it because it's just CSS or Tailwind CSS. So we'll just use a flex. It's going to be a flex box items. We want them center. And if you're wondering, uh, I already have this styling here in another file. So that's how I have all of this. But I'll show you where you can get these things from. And then the screen, right? So that's the height. That's going to set the height of the screen. So right now what I did is just put everything in the middle. How did I do it? Well, I just used like Tailwind CSS. And if you come here, just let's, let's just search for flex, right? And you go to flex, it's gonna tell you, you know, how to do things. So flex, auto, initial, none. And then, you know, it tells you like, this is flex, none, it's here. Flex, initial, and then you can give it like some width and so forth and so on. So I already have some of the I already read some of this and that's that's how I did it but you can just check this out where it says flex basis basis and here you can check like how much like if you want a, four, a fourth of it a fourth of it a half of it 
and so forth and so on. So right now, the, cl the classes that I've added are just flex, the column, items. I want everything on the center justified. This is the minimum of the, of the height of the screen and so forth and so on. So let's continue with the rest. So right now I have everything in the middle. This is what we wanted. So now we have hello. Let's just click on generate. Uh, the button doesn't have any any styling anymore because we we removed it from here, right? All right, so we can just close this. All right, and let's add something else. So, all right, so I've just moved it so that you can see it, so that it's next to it, and you can see a little bit of it. So once I um, let me see if I can make it a little bit like that. Just keep it like that for now. All right. So if I want to add like let's say some we'll just say some styling we'll just say class name and then margin bottom four and that's gonna move this a little bit see just separated them and once again where did I get that from you can just type here uh, margins just say just type margin and then it's gonna give you all the classes uh, the tailwind classes that you can use see MT6 and uh, margin top margin left right bottom and so forth and so on alright so I'm just gonna add some classes now you can explore this on your own and I already had some so let me just I'll just show you straight away so for this once again we'll just say say class name and we'll just add some styling which I already had so that changes the text and makes it bold so now we have enter prompt okay uh, let's see what else we can add here or what I have already here added now for the input so for the input Oh, we're gonna have something like this all right let's change this there let's see how it looks so it looks better you see it looks bigger so now and when you click on it the box uh, it gets like this outline all right and now the button doesn't have any I haven't added any for the button yet so just, just fix on this class name just margin top here We'll just add the same for for the output. Here we'll just say something like that. All right, and now let's go see it and see it's a little bit better now. Now the button. So let's just style that together. So if you come here and we say button. All right, it says border. It takes me to a border. All right, so here we have like this button, right? Alright, so this takes me to this place where you have like a bunch of classes. So we'll just do this one, I guess. Let's just uh, add it here. Once again, the goal is just to get this styled, right? You can play around. So right now it's still transparent. So if you want to change the background, you'll say uh, VG okay. and then dash and then just the color, right? So I know this one exists, so let's just use that one just to see that it appears here. See, so it's been so we need some some margin, some some padding, right? So then we'll just say padding everywhere for and see, and then you get the the padding which is for well, but that doesn't look that good. So let's just do like let's just do like a like a traditional uh, black button, and then now the text is gone. So then we'll just say text text white then we have the text all right and let me just fix this a little bit all right so that that looks a little bit better so now you can also check this out so like once you hover over them there's also like some classes that you can add here so um, let's say that you want to say that you wanted to change its color right once you hover on it over it so you can just add this here and let's say that I want to change it to not to a violet one but like a grayish all right so now if you go here and once you hover over it it's gonna change its color see all right so now I think that's enough you can you can add more if you want to you can change the background as well but for now we're just gonna leave it like that it's just like a you know just like a simple application so that you can you know just build upon it and it's not uh, I'm gonna build another application and then we're gonna go all the way in but for this one it's just like a simple application I just wanna get you off the ground and using uh, OpenAI 
All right, so enter the prompt. Uh, what's what is the tallest building in the world? Something like that, right? And we'll just ask it, uh, generate, just click on it. It says uh, loading, and then it's going to give you the answer. All right, and then we get that. And let's, uh, the last thing, let's just change the background. Uh, let's see what colors we have here. So, say uh, BG, just background, I guess. Uh, background. Uh, I don't think it's in backgrounds, it's in colors. All right, if we go to text colors, it's... Uh, it will be the same thing. We just want to see what colors are available. So these are some of the colors, gray, zinc, neutral, stone, red. You can see here a little bit. Uh, let's just do like, um, you can do this one maybe. Uh, let's see how it looks. So let's go to the main container and let's just uh, style it like that. B, B, G, and then dash, and then the color, and just something like that, see? And that changes the color of the whole background. To not that's a little bit too bright, right? So let's just change it to maybe like a blue. Uh, this is sky two hundred. So let's just change this to sky two hundred. Or t or three hundred rather. All right, and then it changes like that. Yeah, it's still uh, I'm not convinced yet. Let's just go to with this one. Yeah, these are pretty strong colors. So. <laughs> You can use anything else, uh, sky 50 maybe. I don't want it to look too too bright or anything like that. See, that's a little bit better. So let's do 100 maybe. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just gonna leave it like this. And this is the styling. So pretty much what we did, just came to the okay. entry point of our application, which is index.tsx. We imported the global.css, which it has like the stylings that we're gonna use, or the stylings that we're using right now. And then you can start just adding a class name and then the Tailwind classes here or the Tailwind um, styling here. And in order to, you're not going to know all of this, so you can just refer to tailwindcss.com and here you can, you know, find everything, how, like, how to change the font, the letter, the text, the background, the colors, everything. Uh, here I just showed you a few of them. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. It's just a simple application. Once again, this is just for you so that you can, um, you know, build upon this. Uh, we have connected to OpenAI. Uh, it generates uh, once the user asks something. So that's pretty much what I wanted to achieve. It's just a simple application. Once again, uh, simple UI. Uh, you ask something, it generates, it, and then you get it here as a text. So I just wanted to give you this um, for now, but I will. Uh, I'll be back with more applications. Uh, just let me know what you want me to build. Uh, you know, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Uh, you know, share the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.